This is for uh, how to do aquaponics, I guess, in a small one bedroom apartment in New York City. Aquaponics is, um, I guess, a way of growing plants using the fish poop essentially or the fish waste which gets converted it's a whole process um, the ammonia of the fish which is poisonous to plants gets converted into nitrites which then gets converted into nitrates which are good for plants the plants that you're growing essentially uh, they eat the nitrates and then the water cycles back clean for the fish and so that's essentially the whole point of aquaponics. It's a self-contained system that uses the same water over and over and over again. So you don't use a lot of water. Um, you don't pay for a lot of water. Okay. So generally, um, what you need are fish, a pump, water, and some type of grow bed or media. Uh, I have, I think, nine goldfish and one pleco. He's in there right there. He's mainly there for um, algae control. So just to, I guess, give um, a basic rundown of how the system works. You have the water, you have a pump, and it's on a timer, but I will just, for the sake of this video, um, plug the pump in so you guys can see it working. Give me one second. All right, there it goes. Okay, so the pump is now plugged in. It is now drawing water, fish, fish water. Um, it's going up into the first, into the uh, entrance of, you know, the bottom of the grow bed. And it's filling now this thing with water. Um, I have some plants in here that I've been growing for about a week maybe a week and a half I'm gonna um, cut all this and then start with just seeds to show you guys the process but for now um, yeah, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of it so the water goes up fills this thing up there's an entrance on the bottom of the, the you drill it in and you you know use this thing and um, it's an entrance there fills up to a certain level and then over here is the is the exit so when the water reaches a certain height it starts exiting there and it goes down and exits back out here so the way I have it set up is the water that's exiting it's pushing all the water this way it goes behind the pump so it's making like a circular um, I guess it's making circulation so any fish poop, any other you know garbage stuff that would be on the floor, it goes roughly around here. The uh, air bubbles push it up, and it drops usually in front of the the pump, and it draws the fish poop in, which then gets brought up here, gets broken down here into the good stuff, the nitrates, by the nitrifying bacteria that's in here, and essentially. You have plants. Um, what I grow, what I found to be the best for this system is microgreens. Um, I got them at, I think, I forget where this is. This is, I don't know, whatever company that I forget. Um, oh, Mountain Valley Seed Co. Okay. Um, I basically have um, daikon radish. What is this? basic salad mix and sunflower seeds. I also have peas, but you know, those, those are peas. I just harvested the sunflowers and these are daikon radishes that I ate. This is a basic salad green. Roughly in about three to four days, whatever you plant sprouts and you can start eating them then and there, but I wait a little bit longer till it grows a little bit bigger. Um, I have this whole thing on a timer. These I use T5 fluorescent lights. Um, this whole setup is roughly three feet by three feet, right? Three feet by three feet and one and a half feet this way. Um, in my previous apartment, I had, I had two levels of it. So I had another level up, I had another level up here, and I had the, the, 
the feed go into that one and then exit out into the second one and then fills up and then it exit backs down but as exits back down but uh yeah for my what I, what I needed this was enough it's not that big it's not that uh you know crazy you got some fans you need some circulation I had two because you know I had two levels but once I downgrade to one level I only needed I might as well have both fans going um, I have the lights going on at 12 hours per day and then 12 on 12 off I have the pump go on for about an hour every hour and a half it stays on for 30 minutes so roughly that's one hour 30 off 30 on so that's two hours so it runs 12 times a day and that's been plenty to grow literally um, a lot of salad I eat salad with pretty much everything just cut a whole bunch of microgreens and um, the reason I chose microgreens was because they say I forget which website or which uh, YouTube person I heard it from but they say that uh, mass wise the if you were to take like let's say one lettuce this big and you had that same amount of microgreens it's ten times the amount of nutrients than mass wise so like honestly I have like the ridiculous amount of seeds this was I think like six seven bucks and it's total um, seeds I think I paid like 30 40 bucks but I'm gonna have salad for the rest of my life I feel like unlimited amount of salad um, I have the food that's the uh, this is oh, well, this is an automatic food dispenser every twice a day it spins there's food in this compartment and it releases food to the fish so they seem fine I think I got I feed them uh, goldfish flakes it's like four bucks on Amazon for that giant thing um what else I think that is it uh, this light I use for the second level but because I downgraded to one level I use it for the fish light now it makes the makes it look nice of course I got my Spongebob and Patrick and house right there um, yeah I think that's about it if you have any questions feel free to comment and yeah I'll try to respond as much as I can total cost for the whole thing um, I bought the tank for 20 bucks on Craigslist the lights were pretty expensive but those are I bought two so I think it was like 70 no I think it was like a hundred bucks um, these things Plastic bins are like 10 bucks at Walmart. The the hydro tin, this is the, the clay pebbles. This is expensive. It's like it's like 35 bucks for 50, 25 pounds or something like that. Um, this I use coconut fiber stuff. You just cut them into little cubes. They are reusable. I, I, I just microwave them after every use because you don't want to have like mold transfer over and things like that. But these are peas getting they're coming in and uh, yeah I think that's everything so if you guys have questions uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them all right have a great day guys